Er inmiddels gaat twee maal langer mee dan mislukte imitatie. This is the BBC, with the Daily Minutes podcast. Oh no it isn't. I mean this is the Daily Minutes podcast. This is however not the BBC. Als er een natuurramp gebeurt, vertrouw jij dan je leven toe aan het feit dat mobiele telefoons en internetverbindingen nog werken? Vertrouw je daar het leven van je gezinsleden aan toe? Ik dacht het niet. Amateurradio. Communicatie die altijd blijft werken. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. And what a good day to have a good day. Daily Minutes, vrijdag 13 augustus 2021. Dit is het bulletin van vrijdag. Daily Minutes, August 13, 2021. This is our bulletin of Friday. Ja, de bedoeling was om alles in het Engels te gaan doen. Dus daar moeten we dan maar mee beginnen. (laughs) Let's have a start with that. Um, Well, uh, nothing new new here. I'm uh, still really, really busy. So, uh, haven't got enough time to uh, work on uh, new plans for the podcast. And also uh, not for the podcast itself. So... uh, it, I will probably keep a bit little, keep it a little bit limited, but uh, well, you know me. I will uh, never let an opportunity go to have some uh, to, to, to to talk to talk broad. Let's say uh, let's say it that way. To have a waterfall of words uh, coming out of my mouth, uh, better said, but. Uh, well, nothing new here. I ordered uh, just a few moments ago uh, the new Texan uh, PL368. I'm, I'm very curious about uh, the little rig because uh, I've heard uh, so much uh, good about it. But uh, probably tomorrow I will have a first uh, video of it. It comes with a few new features also, some that uh, I think... Uh, uh, are somewhat less, but uh, what I hear from it is that, uh, for for instance, the the, the battery uh, in the receiver uh, does last a bit, uh, last a lot longer than uh, the AA pen lights do. Um, you can have it uh, operating for, for standby for uh, for a month, and uh, with the old version, that was uh, 500 uh, hours or so. Um, so that's that's a, really a lot, but uh, well, still uh, pen lights you can buy everywhere. So, <laughs> so I, I, I would have some preference for for, for that. But uh, um, and the other thing is the is the bandwidth, which is uh, uh, switchable. I uh, understand, and I hear a lot of good things about uh, the the new filter width. Which was a bit of a, a minus on the uh, 365 because uh, it was a for me it was a little bit wide for a sideband. So uh, um, there's not a real CW filter in it. I understand, but uh, well, that's a, that's a, a, a minor uh, issue. Um, so I'm very curious uh, how it will operate, and the the, the keyboard is uh, marvelous because the the old uh, radio was uh, a typical typical uh, broadcast uh, receiver. So uh, um, it had uh, uh, increments of uh, one kilohertz um, tuning the the band, and uh, while uh, switching between the main uh, uh, tuning and uh, hey, there's a cat here. What do we have? <laughs> Just near my feet in a cardboard box. Um, where she uh, where she favors to uh, to be uh, this time of the day, but um, it's a typical broadcast receiver, the three sixty five, and you have to tune. Uh, I have a video on uh, online in Dutch about it, and and you can clearly see uh, you have to switch between uh, tuning uh, uh, small increments and uh, large in- increments, and the tuning was not. Uh, not particularly uh, pleasant, so uh, I hope uh, this is a lot better. But you can uh, put in frequency di- directly in the in the keypad, keyboard, which is on it, uh, 
No, the the, the right word for it, uh, 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 numbers, uh, keyboard. Uh, I always have that <laughs> present, but uh, I can't. Uh, I can't remember it, but uh, it's it's a numbers keyboard, small, and uh, well, you can put in a frequency directly uh, in it. Uh, so uh, I don't know how the tuning works. I hope uh, they improve that a bit, little bit as well. But uh, well, the cat is now touching my toes. I'm on bare, on my bare feet. So uh, hi, Martina. She probably just wants to let me know that she's there. But uh, <laughs> I all, already heard her. Um, but, uh, well, I'm very cu curious. We had some fun about the uh, orange color because I would never buy one in uh, orange. But uh, there are a lot of people that prefer that. Uh, around 40% of the buys, I understand from Texan itself, uh, is uh, in orange. So uh, it was a good move to uh, have that one always, uh, that, that uh, color uh, version as well. But I would prefer black because uh, it looks a lot more serious. Well, uh, on the other part, no, no great news. I, I've been busy for, uh, oh, well, a couple of weeks. Uh, last week was uh, kind of a resting week, and uh, I plan to uh, work on my HF rigs, my Xiegu, my Xiegu, which I want to use uh, portable, and uh, I still haven't got all uh, wires fixed for uh, charging and, and, and that kind of things, and also not a good antenna. But, and, and the shoulder strap I also miss, but uh, I have one uh, somewhere if I can find it, and I'll, 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 else I will buy one. But uh, it hasn't come from that. I've uh, had I haven't had time for anything of uh, M Radio uh, activities except for doing the D Star Net, uh, the Dutch D Star Net uh, last uh, Tuesday, which uh, was uh, three quarters of an hour. But I didn't put the net and that of the week before online even. So, uh, out of time constraints so uh, um, well it's early in the morning my voice isn't still uh, very much awake um, but I plan to do that before the end of August because uh, I, I want to be portable uh, this summer and uh, well, September the weather in the Netherlands is uh, going down at least for the for the temperature so it would be pleasant if I have that ready uh, somewhere uh, within uh, within one or two weeks uh, max and then I will put on some uh, movies about that as well on the YouTube channel. I've been wonder wondering about a second platform because uh, I don't want to be dependable of uh, depending of uh, um, YouTube alone because I had some issues issues in the past with uh, well and just uh, <laughs> things they did to my account. Partly because of uh, my own error, partly. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, it's always good to have uh, a second source, even if you uh, buy things. So, uh, on the pl I would prefer to have uh, an own platform, which I have for audio, but uh, that uh, is a bit difficult, either either difficult or expensive, and I would prefer uh, simple and uh, cheap. But uh, I've seen some things, well, possibly uh, Peertube might be something, but uh, I have to look into that. Um, it looks like uh, um, a kind of syndicated uh, platform, just as uh, um, Mastodon uh, is for uh, so the social media side of it. But uh, there are separate servers, and uh, each server has its own uh, library of uh, of uh, um, uh, videos and uh, the the main platform uh, directs you from uh, from their indexing uh, uh, software to uh, to one of the sites, which also has a problem because uh, the first uh, video I watched yesterday was really really slow, and uh, I thought there was something wrong, uh, uh, even with my own uh, equipment. But uh, uh, looking at another uh, video, it uh, just uh, popped on and. Uh, and worked fine, so that was a server issue. Hi. Good morning, Martina. <laughs> I speak to her English most of the time, so she isn't uh, very uh, amazed by that. Hey. You did like the food, didn't you? <laughs> she had a, a lot. About twice as much as she, as she should have this time, but uh, she was this sweet. 
I saw. I thought she deserved it, but it <laughs> wise is uh, it, it isn't. It isn't wise. Uh, she tends to get overweight and uh, has occasionally uh, weighed nine and a half kilo, uh, kilograms. I don't know how, how much is that in uh, imperial, but. Uh, um, she was really heavy and still is around, uh, I think she's around six and a half to seven kilograms right now. So uh, it's really huge cat and very sweet and benign. Hey, <laughs> what do you smell? She smells something. Okay, but... Uh, well, that on the on the podcast side. I, want, I plan to make uh, videos within a few weeks, so... Uh, appearing uh, myself in uh, be in front of the camera which i think is really frightening ah, no, not really frightening but uh, to some extent it is uh, i don't like being uh, in the uh, in the spotlight that that way i don't like doing uh, presentations uh, i detest doing presentations to be more uh, precise I, I don't like going to conventions uh, i have this uh, lack of being able to recognize faces uh, which is huge and uh, it makes you very uncertain because uh, it's not only that you uh, walk past people you know quite well i've had that with uh, a huge customer of mine uh, some some 20 years ago on a on a on a, a convention an electronics convention and just walked past him and he later accused me of not wanting to know him but uh I simply didn't rec recognize him. And, and in, in, in the other way, it, it works on uh, much more uh, discomforting because um, I do recognize people that uh, aren't really the person itself. So uh, <laughs> I say hi and they don't know me and think, uh, what does this strange guy uh, want from me? But, uh, well, that, 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 that isn't uh, really pleasant. But uh, I don't like... Uh, that kind of venues whatsoever so uh, <laughs> I do like people I, I don't like uh, large uh, large uh, amounts of people but uh, well I, I, I do like uh, audio very much more but uh, it's always good to uh, take on new uh, projects and new things and get new uh, uh, things you are possibly very well and if you uh, practice them more because uh, well I've done radio th type of things I, th I guess since the appearance of podcasts now it was before that even uh, I did audio in, uh, in the late 90s uh, via, via websites uh, which had a bit of an audience because I had a mailing list then but uh, where I could promote them and uh, that uh, got me got me much of much traffic and the mailing list was 700 or 800 uh, people strong so uh, that wasn't uh, very limited. Uh, I had more visitors on my on my web blog uh, a couple of years later, but uh, that uh, went to twenty thousand a day or something uh, that huge, and uh, got me uh, some uh, ad advertising uh, income as well. Quite respectable for some time, but uh, well then. Uh, uh, <laughs> the parent company of uh, YouTube decided to uh, to cut uh, advertising uh, rates, so uh, it went a bit downhill. <laughs> you never can count, count on income uh, from that sources, and that is uh, worrying because uh, if if you are an influence, influencer on on a site like YouTube, you just might be uh, without income uh, from one day to another, and it's it's really quite random. Uh, if that happens to you, because uh, the automatic uh, detection system for uh, applying to the rules and, and much like that uh, don't uh, cut in on uh, other people's uh, copyrights, uh, etc., is, uh, is really random. It is not quite good, and uh, that's, that's a huge risk for your income if you depend on that from, uh, from your uh, videos. So that uh, I, I would like to avoid that. That it's, uh, I do want uh, to try to to generate some income with uh, with the uh, videos. That's one of the purposes as well. Because uh, I did uh, get some earnings from my website, uh, my web blog, uh, ten years ago or something like that. And it would be nice uh, 
to have that aspect uh, working as well, but uh, it must not include uh, videos that uh, are interrupted or uh, being obliged to you to watch uh, five minutes of uh, commercials before you can st even start uh, watching uh, the content you wanted. Uh, you want 15 seconds uh, max. So I don't know in, if I can influence that uh, to that extent, but uh, that would be... Uh, that would be something. I think uh, Peertube doesn't have a commercial program, not uh, not an, an earning program. You can do something th something with Patreon, but Patreon is the not the, not the best. Uh, I do have their old uh, uh, contract for uh, Patreon. I never used it, but uh, there are better uh, better options. I don't know if it's still valid because I don't get their uh, uh, mailing list uh, anymore since. Uh, a few months so it might be deactivated or something and then uh, I should enter the new program which is less favor favorable I understand but I don't know the details so well this was uh, the first uh, Daily Minutes uh, improv it was it wasn't scripted um, for now and it uh, I think it was the first one with the purpose to do only English after now so uh, it, uh, it's a bit creepy. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, okay, well, thanks for listening. I'm on social media, but only on uh, Mastodon, which is at mastodon.social as Peter John. Peter John at mastodon.social. This podcast is made by myself. I'm Peter John in English media. Title music is by Croatian artist Blasco and is published under Creative Commons. You can find this podcast on dmpodcast.net, DM is for daily minutes and on several other platforms. De internetfaciliteiten en studio hardware voor daily minutes worden gesponsord door 70 megahertz shop.nl. 70 mhz shop.nl. Daily minutes podcast. Whoever hears this is crazy. En microfoon naar retour. Deze uitzending wordt opgedragen aan Jurgen van der Broek, ON3JVB. Voor altijd de Joker van België.